I am now going to discuss the solution to the first looping problem or the looping problem given in round 1. So let us try to understand what the problem is asking us about. The problem states that write algorithm to print all the natural numbers between 1 and n that are multiples of 6 and 10. What it really means is if you start with the number 1 divide it by 6 and divide it by 10 also. If the remainder happens to be 0 print that number. So in order to do this particular problem I will need one variable i with the initial value 1. In this case instead of i I have used the value called as variable called as number with the initial value 1. The reason I have given number 1 is because I want to start from 1. Then I have the end point variable called as n. Now in order to find out between what range the user wants to test this particular logic I say read n. Then the next part of the logic happens to be how many times do I want to repeat this particular logic in the sense how many times do I want to repeat testing whether a number is divisible by both 6 and 10. So suppose I enter n as just say 50 that means this repeat for count will execute 50 times or so that means it will get into the body of the loop 50 times. So what I will do is when count is 1 number is also 1. So I will say 1 mod 6 is the remainder 0 no remainder happens to be 1. 1 mod 2 is the remainder 0 no remainder is 1. So it will go to count is 2 count is 3 4 all the way till n. So let's try to understand the logic. So the next step here is I am going to check if number mod 6 is equal to 0 and number mod 10 is equal to 0. That means after dividing the number by 6 and by 10 if the remainder is 0 then what I am going to do is I am going to print that number on the screen. After I print the number on the screen in order to go to the next number I will increase number by 1. This is a common mistake you will forget to increase number by 1 then this will only check for the first number. So now you need to understand a couple of things. This block here in the blue is associated with this if then that means if the number mod 6 and number mod 10 the remainder is 0 then I am going to print the number. Now the repeat is between the red parenthesis or the red flower bracket. So repeat is going to go execute between the red flower parenthesis once for each count. When count is 1, one time. If count is 2, it will execute this repeat for 2 times. In order to understand this particular problem, as usual, we will take a look at the working through a test case or a test plan. So let us say the value of n is 60. Okay, that means I have asked the user, the user says I want to find all numbers between 1 and 60 which are perfectly divisible by both 6 and 10. So let's start with the first number. So if you start with the first number which happens to be 1, if you try to divide 1 by 6, 1 cannot be divided by 6 so the quotient is 0, remainder is 1. Similarly, if you try to divide 1 by 10, the quotient is 0, remainder is 1. So in this case, it will not print 1. Number now becomes 2. Alright, so let's take a look here. So here if you see, okay, this should not be i, this should, we'll just take this out. We don't need really this particular column. So count is 1, number is 1, 1 did not get printed. Now number has become 2, okay. So when I am coming here, 2 mod 6, the remainder is 2. 2 mod 10, the remainder is 2. For mod or the remainder operation, understand. If this number is less than the number you are trying to divide by, okay, or divide with, it is going to remain the same. That means 5 mod 6, the remainder is going to be 5. 6 mod 6, the remainder is going to be 0. 2 mod 6, the remainder is going to be 2. 7 mod 6 is remainder is going to be 1. So just understand this concept. Then I come to 
3. When a number becomes 3, 3 mod 6 is 3. So it will not even go to the AND part. It will not print the number. Number becomes 4. So now if you see, till almost 29, no number is divisible by both 6 and 7 and the remainder happens to be 0. Now we'll come to a number like 30. When I come to 30, count is executing this particular block for the 30th time. 30 mod 6, remainder is 0. 10, sorry, 30 mod 10, remainder is also 0. So I am going to print 30 on the screen. So 30 is my first number which is divisible by both 6 and 10. So I have not checked after 3, 4, I have directly come to 30 because I am sure none of the numbers till 30 is going to be divisible by both 6 and 10. Then what I do is I make number by 1, number becomes 31. Now again from 31 to 60, there is no number which is divisible by both 6 and 10. But when number becomes 60, which is my last point, so when this count is executing for the 60th time, number is also 60. So 60 mod 6 is 0, 60 mod 10 is also 0, so I am going to also print 60 on the screen. So how does 30 and 60 work? Take a look at it. So if I have 30, 6 FISA is 30, remainder is 0. 10 3 is 30, remainder is 0. That's why it is printing 30 as the first number and 60 as the second number. What you can do is you can increase the range of n to say like 90, 120. Most of the time or in fact every time it will be multiples of 30 which will be divisible by both 6 and 10. So take a test value, run through the loop, see what happens to the value of count and number. Okay, see how they change. Based on the changing values of count and number, try to figure out which all numbers get printed on the output printer or on the screen. Most important, do not forget to increase number by 1 every time in the repeat count. If you forget this step, you will get no output because no, this number is only being che checked with 1. It will go through this loop 60 times, every time it is only checking with 1 and since 1 is not divisible by 6 and 10 perfectly, no number will be printed. So this is one important thing which you tend to miss when you are writing the logic on your own.